The DXF DWG Import Wizard lets you import your DXF or DWG files directly into SolidWorks 2D drawing format. When you wish to do this, you have two options. Let's start by going over how to import your DXF or DWG line work to become SolidWorks 2D entities. With this option, you can use the sketch, drawing, and annotation tools right in SolidWorks. Here on this screen, you can see a preview of what will be imported, as well as a list of layers from the original file. Now, if there are any layers you don't want to import, simply uncheck them from the list. You'll also notice there are a few options here at the top that control the imported layers. The default option lets you import all of your selected layers onto a drawing sheet. When you get used to working in SolidWorks 2D environment, you'll find that there are two modes, Edit Sheet Mode and Edit Sheet Format Mode. To put it simply, these modes make it easier to work with either the main views and annotations in the drawing, or the title block that's part of the sheet format. If I want to import the title block layer to SolidWorks Sheet Format, I can select the layer selected for sheet format option for the title block, meaning that all of these other layers that are selected will be imported to the main drawing sheet, rather than the sheet format. At this point, I could press Finish to proceed with the import. But for now, I'll press the Next button to show you a few more options. Here on this screen, you have control over several more of the settings and units of what you're importing. By the way, if you ever forget to adjust these settings during the import process, you can always get back to them in SolidWorks once it's imported. I can choose to have SolidWorks automatically adjust the font's width. I'll leave this box checked. I can also set the units. Millimeters will work for this example. Finally, I can specify the paper size, along with any document templates if you have one created. I'll go with A4 Landscape and the standard drawing template. A 2 to 1 scale will work. SolidWorks usually does a nice job with selecting good default settings here, based on what's being imported. One option I do usually like to adjust here is the geometry positioning. I usually use the Center in Sheet option. At this point, I'll click Finish, and the file is imported into SolidWorks. Here, I can use SolidWorks 2D Sketch Tools, Annotations, and even add additional views from 3D models, which we'll go over later in the course. As I mentioned when we were going through the import options, there are two models in SolidWorks 2D environment, Edit Sheet and Edit Sheet Format. Notice right now I can select any of the line work from the main views in the drawing. But if I try to select anything in the title block, SolidWorks won't let me. That's because we added the title block layer to SolidWorks Sheet Format. To switch to Edit Sheet Format mode, I can right-click anywhere on the drawing sheet and select Edit Sheet Format. As soon as I do, all of the views in Edit Sheet mode disappear, and I can focus on any changes I wish to make in the title block. To get back to Edit Sheet mode, I can click the icon in the upper right-hand corner to exit Edit Sheet Format mode. Now, there's one more way to switch between the two modes that I'd like to show you. I'll again right-click on the drawing sheet and select Edit Sheet Format. Now, instead of clicking the icon in the corner, I can also right-click anywhere on the drawing and select Edit Sheet. This takes me back to Edit Sheet mode and you can see the drawing views reappear. You'll quickly get used to using these two modes as you use SolidWorks more and more.